Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play The Witcher 3. We are slowly nearing the end of the game I feel, but before I go and leave for Skellige, um for presumably the final battle, um, I have one piece of business that I need to take care of here in Novigrad, because apparently uh, Dijkstra, Roach and Tala um, are actually uh, getting serious uh, about their plan to assassinate King Radovid. And I think it's only fair if I hear what they have to say and see if I want to participate in that. Although I must admit I still find it kinda ironic that I spent the entirety of the last game trying to prove that I'm not a Kingslayer and here I am thinking about getting involved in the killing of a king. But anyway, um, I'm supposed to meet them in a warehouse, apparently somewhere around here, so let's see if we can find them. What's left to think about? Shackle the horse and he was out to murder me! Liar! Would Pandesa need that then? They told here. me avoid doing business with woven scum! Stunted bricks always cheat! But uh, um you let the beast in there! Because me bales are sulk are driving you mad with jealousy. Shove your bales up your ass. Shut it, or I'll lift <laughs> you both up. This seems to be a different quest, but maybe I will have a look at this before I continue with my reason of state <sighs> quest. So, what's going on here? What's the problem? Fuck! Another non-human. You're everywhere. Silence. Now we'll do this quick. I've got a little witcher chore. You willing? Little chores aren't usually worth the pay. Well, this will be, don't you, Fred? Now just be quick about it. I've wasted enough time on these two pricks. A share warehouse. Monsters cropped up in it. Cropped up? On its own? You put it there. You meant it to rip my noodle off so you could get your paws on my goods. Don't try to spin this, shorty. I don't care who sick the ghoul or the strigger on who. Beast's got to be dealt with. That's that. So what'll it be, would ya? Um, well, if it's quick, then sure, I'll tend to it. Fine. I'll see to it. I'll not have it. Non-humans, they stick together. These two are like to prove it's no ghoul at all, but my dear departed Nan. I didn't get a good look at the mug, but now you mention huh? it, it could very well be. Shut it, or I'll send inspectors to your storehouse just as soon as the monster's dispatched. That won't be necessary. Look, guys, if there's a ghoul in there, I'm going to kill it, and everyone will be happy. Oh. So, uh, hold your horses. Okay, it's in here. No, this is actually the reason of state quest. Um, let me mark my other quest active. Warehouse of woe. Kill the monster. Okay, um, it's actually in here. <gasps> yeah, let's let's do this. Oh, to hell with it. Um, this is actually a necker, not a ghoul. Huh. Strange. Neckers rarely venture anywhere alone. Well, uh, this one apparently did. So, tell the guardsman what happened in the warehouse. Okay. So, you take care of the beast? Um, yes, I did. It was a necker. Yes. I knew Iron Witch would be quickest. So, figure out how it got in there. You hired me to kill the beast, <laughs> not investigate. Well, oh, fair enough. It's just I'll still have to muck around in the matter. Would have paid extra not to. Oh, yeah. This is for you. And we'll go to the garrison. Talk to the captain. He can try to get to the bottom of this. Well, yeah, maybe I could have investigated how the necker got in there. But then again, um, I have other stuff to do, right? <laughs> so, um, yeah, this was a pretty fast quest indeed. But now let's go back to what I was actually trying to do here. Let's attend our conspirative meeting. Who's there? Witcher Geralt. Get in here. Boss awaits upstairs. Bloody tell us what this is about. Just All as right. soon as Geralt arrives. Should he arrive? You won't plow it talk. Least you can do is pour around. Bloody suspense has <laughs> made my throat dry. <laughs> well, um, thank you for waiting for me all this time. I wonder why my presence is so important. Um, so yeah, let's let's go upstairs and 
see what's going Witcher, on here. Witcher, at last. Now, we're all present. Then yeah. up the fucking creek. Why have you summoned us? Radovid's on his ship. We'll not get to him there, I've told you. Stop it. I have an idea how to draw him onto dry land. But all in due course. Let's start by confessing our sins. I let Philippa Eilhart <laughs> in on our plan. Mea culpa. Bravo. Bloody bravo. <laughs> now, now. It's not a disaster. The Lady Sorceress is highly unlikely to warn the brat. What's more, she's willing to help us kill him. Naturally, it's nothing I'll ever agree to. But Phil, she's inspired me. Call her my muse. Inspired you to do what? Patience. We've yet to get to the substance of the matter. Geralt, do I recall correctly that Radovid's hired you to find Philippa? Yeah, that is correct. And I see you were actually able to put your personal trouble with Philippa aside for the sake of this plan. <laughs> You're nosy, it pisses me off. Well, um, it's not unexpected that he would know that. But let's use this option anyway. I like me some good Geralt and Deke's job banter. You're nosy. Starting to piss me off, you know? I know. Forgive me, it mm -hmm. comes with the job. No, you're not a spy anymore, remember? Chose the life of a criminal. No, that choice was made for me. Philippa forced me to flee Redania. Radovid prevented me from returning. Dijkstra, infernally sad oh. story. Really fucking tugs at the art strings. But do you mind getting back to the matter at hand? Yes, right. Geralt, be so kind as to answer the question. He give you the contract or not? Those two guys in one room is just priceless. But yeah, um, you're right about that. Mm -hmm. Only thing I've found is her hideout. What's your point? We can use Philippa without involving her, provided you help. Radovid expects you to report to him, bring him information about her. All you need to do is mention her name, intimate that you've a lead, you're on her trail. Oh, he'll swallow that. Hook, line, sinker, and a good bit of the rod as well. Hmm. Well, um... That may actually be true. Okay, so... Assuming he does that, what are we going to do then? Let's say Radovid bites, believes me, and none of that's a given. What then? You'll tell him you've found Philippa's hideout. Somewhere where we can easily set a trap and ambush. Suggestions? Bridge to Temple Isle. Built up both sides. Lots of nooks, gates. Easy to block off from the rest of the city. Good idea. I'll divide my men. Post half on one end, other half on the other, by the gate. And in the middle, Vess, with a well-oiled crossbow. You see, Geralt? All we ask is that you invite Radovid out for a stroll, bring him to the bridge. We'll take care of the rest. So hmm. what'll it be? Okay, um... Well, you know, when I came here, I kinda had hoped that these guys would give me some more information. You know, for example, um, if they have any concrete plans for the time after Radovid. Uh, because so far, it's still my biggest concern that killing Radovid alone will not actually change anything. Um, or, I don't know, maybe even make things worse. Because, um, I mean, yeah, he is a paranoid madman. But in the end, it's not only him doing it. There's the Church of the Eternal Fire and the Witch Hunters. And there must be other people in the government that, you know support this so I think we would have to uh, replace him with somebody who will be actively stopping the witch hunts and killing Radovid alone may not actually help anything in that regard but um, <laughs> it seems like um, the three geniuses or the four geniuses here don't have any concrete long-term post-assassination plans 
Oh, well, maybe they do and they don't deign to inform me about it. Um, but it's not making this decision any easier. Hmm. I mean, I'm pretty sure that Geralt doesn't really care about the greater politics here. However, I think he does care about the people being persecu persecuted. So, you know, his mage and non-human friends in particular. But um, I assume everyone else too, because almost all of these people are innocent. They haven't really done anything wrong. And um, as a matter of fact, he should probably be uh, <laughs> concerned about himself as well. Uh, since I think at some point the witches will be on the list as well and they will, uh, you know, get burned as well. Uh, it is actually kind of surprising that Garrett can still move around Novigrad so freely, if you think about it. His uh, witcher signs are definitely a more potent form of magic than what, you know, some village herbalist can do. And they're already being arrested and burned, so... It's kind of surprising that, you know, Garrett apparently is still being tolerated to a certain extent. But I'm pretty sure that's not going to last forever and at some point, you know, they'll come for the witches too. So, yeah, witcher neutrality or not, I think Garrett cannot pretend that this doesn't concern him. Um, it concerns his friends, it will eventually, you know, concern himself very personally. Um, and I mean, if Geralt, you know, sees some people being attacked by random bandits, then he goes and saves them. So when innocent people are getting killed by their king, then maybe you should help them as well. I just wish we had more information on what we are going to do once he's dead. Um, so... I don't like the fact that we're going in this so blindly. <laughs> However, um, I think after the most recent developments, I'm beginning to think that anything would be better than rid of it. And that it can't really get much worse in the long run. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I guess I will help you with this. Um, but not for the politics, because Geralt doesn't care who's going to rule what and where the borders are going to be and whatever. But just because I think that what Radovid is doing here is just plain evil. This isn't even like a grey area anymore. There is no ambiguity and no, oh, but look at it from his perspective or whatever. This right here is just evil. And... I honestly and truly believe that evil has to be opposed. So I think Geralt should do this and help them kill this guy. However, <laughs> and um, I realize this is a bit of a cop-out on my part. I think Geralt makes it a point that he's only doing it because he wants to stop the witch hunts. And that he's not interested in all the greater politics and the political consequences of it. Um, so, essentially he's saying, okay, look, I will help you with this, but you guys can pick up the pieces afterwards, <laughs> uh, because, you know, he has other stuff on his plate. Um, as soon as this is over, he will be off to Skellige, uh, and fight the Wild Hunt, and hopefully, uh, protect his daughter's life. And, uh, the... I don't know, potential political mess that may come out of, may come out of this <laughs> is for you to, for you to deal with. So, yeah, it's a bit of a cop out, but um, I think Garrett just has to draw a line somewhere and say, this is as far as I will go, and that's all I'm going to do. Which, in practical terms, means that if there's going to be a follow-up quest to this. I may not be doing it because Geralt just doesn't want to get involved into this any deeper than he already is. I don't know, we'll see. But for now, we will continue this quest and we will go and kill Radovid. 
I'm in. But once it's done, what then? There'll be an uproar in the city. Panic, maybe. Need a place where we can wait it out. Thought of that already. Huh. Remember Madame Arena's theater? Abandoned now, not a soul looks in there. Tala and I will await you there. Await us? Unwilling to risk your own necks? Not the point. Deeksra and I have many cocksacking virtues, but fighting ability is <laughs> just not one of them. Not as fit for that as we are for a bleeding beauty pageant. Don't worry, Geralt. My people are battle-hardened. They'll manage. You just bring them the kid. Do what I can. Where's his ship moored these days? Just around the corner, in Novograd's port. And for your sake, I hope he's in a good mood when you look in on him. Oh, hi, Philippa. The bridge must okay. be clear. My lads will make sure of that. Guards round the temple, what about them? Won't they bloody congregate when they see the fighting? If they're paid a tidy sum, they won't. Hm. All right, all right, I'll leave that to you. And yes, I guess uh, we're going to do this now. We're going to lure Radovid from his ship. I mean, presumably I don't actually have to kill him myself. But I'm still a vital part of this, I guess. Philippa, <sighs> what the hell are you doing here? Geralt, don't ask questions you know the answers to. <laughs> it makes you look stupid. Eavesdropping on your conversation, naturally. With a good deal of interest. And a measure of wonder. Mind telling me what you found puzzling? Your naivety. Do you honestly believe Radovid will fall for such a crude ruse? Um, maybe not. But he really, really wants you dead, so this may actually be enough to get him interested. Radovid's lost his mind. Doesn't think rationally anymore. That's why. That is why he may very well choose to torture you, even if you brought me to him in chains. Just because. That's a good point, Philippa, though. why even tell me this? Concerned about me that much? Not at all. It's because I think it vital that Radovid die. You don't want my help, more's the pity. But I shall do what I can to make certain you don't fuck it oh. up. Here, take this. A ring. Redanian eagle etched in the ruby. It belonged to Vizimir, Radovid's father. Hand him that, and he may believe you captured me. Mm. He might even choose to trust you. Okay, well, that is actually useful. Is there a catch? What's the catch? There is none. Philippa, I know you too damn well. Always got a plan. Always got at least two irons in the fire. This time I shall be content with one. Radovid's head planted at its end. Good luck, Geralt. You'll need it. Okay, well, um... Still, this should actually help me considerably. Okay, so, um... I need to get to his boat now. And see if we can lure him off it. Alright, here we go. Apparently, this is his ship. And this is probably why I saw those giant sails at the harbor. Because Radovid has moved from Oxenford to here oh. now. Alright, um, let's do this. Witcher Geralt, what do you want? Um, I want an audience with a king. An audience? Got new information about Philippa Eilhart. I'll need your weapons. Now follow me. All Your right. Majesty, the Witcher, with news of Philippa Eilhart. I hope you brought something better than magic crystals this time. I know where she is. Perhaps. Or perhaps you seek to trick me. Might be others. <laughs> what others? What others? Ah. <sighs> You see, a rumor went around that I'd generously reward any who bring information about Eilhart. There's no shortage of the greedy and the stupid, so a queue quickly formed at the gangway to the ship. The first aboard was a hunter. 
brought me a dead owl with no eyes. He thought I'd believe it, <laughs> shower him with gold. I had him blinded, then thrown overboard with a stone tied round his neck. The second was the postmaster from Oxenfurt, claimed to have a letter she'd penned. It was forged, of course. I had his fingers cut off. <laughs> He'll never write again. Oh, and I took his tongue. The spoken lie is just as reprehensible. Needless to say, the rest of the queue dispersed quickly. All right, I see, but you know, I'm a professional. You can trust me. I'm a professional. Got a reputation to uphold. Be stupid of me to come to you empty-handed. My father's ring. Philippa used it to stamp her decrees, then distribute them as the word of the king. Where is she? Under your nose, sire. In Novigrad, in a house on the bridge leading to Temple Isle. Why haven't you brought her to me? Gotta capture someone to take them anywhere. All I did was track her down, then stole this ring as proof that I had. Do you fear her? No. You want to kill her yourself. With your own hands. <laughs> I know this. You shall come with me. Hubrecht, gather the men. How many, sire? All of them. Alright. This is getting intense. Well, where is she? Where is Philippa? Like I said, house on the bridge, closer to the other end. Close off this end. We need no guests, no innocent bystanders, or witnesses. Damian, Duke, Egbert, Freak, Kaspar. You shall stay here, secure the rear, and kill the Witcher. Of course. Well. Hmm. Apparently, this is how you thank me, huh? But yeah, you don't know where Philippa is exactly. You still need me. You don't know where Philippa's hiding. Not exactly, without me. Fret not. We'll manage. Naturally, it would be easier with your help, but <laughs> you irritate me. Uh, you well, know that's too as much. good as reason as any. You impede me too often. And I find your arrogance an annoyance. I've had men killed for less. Follow so me. I gather. Ah, okay, I guess we're going to do this the hard way, of course. Any last words? Oh, oh. Fuck! Free the Witcher, then Radovid. All right, um, well. So, now I have to kill Red of it. Oh, well, uh, hang on a second. Do I have to fight these guys or can I just go for Red of it directly? Maybe I should just go for Red of it directly. These are a lot of soldiers, so... I feel I should not waste my time with them. Oh, look at that. So many of them. I need to be really careful here. That's so many of uh, the soldiers and the witch hunters. So not good. Let me. Well, wow, this is really difficult. Um, <laughs> okay, I need to be more careful here, and I I will try this again, of course. Okay, so um, they start me off over here already, but only at half health. So let me take a potion and let me 
kill some of these guys. Come on, come closer. And I need to be really careful because these are so many damn soldiers and witch hunters. <laughs> and a bunch of them have shields too to make it worse. Okay, but this is uh, working out a lot better already. Okay, uh, let me retreat again for a moment. And I will have to exe some of these guys. Yeah, I'm not going to make it this way though. There we go. One of them is down. And another one. And now this guy. And we still have one soldier over here. Alright, this is working out better. Whew. Open up! I command you to open the door! You needed merely to ask. Settles the score. Apparently, she's going to. And that finish was job. from the heart. There we go. The king is dead. Forgive me. I could not deny myself the pleasure. How did she. Where? Why? How the <laughs> fuck? Eve's dropped on us. Back at the warehouse. What? And you didn't think it worth mentioning? Lads, the time to discuss this is later. Bradovid is dead. It matters not by whose hand. Mission accomplished. Now let's get the hell away. Place will be thick with Redanians in minutes. Let's go. Right, let's go. <laughs> Assassin of Kings, yeah. Um, the irony. Oh, the irony. Well, what? Is it done? It's done. Though all did not go according to plan. More on that later. First a stiff drink and a toast. The North. Tamaria. Tamaria! Bloody Tamaria! Hmm. Yeah, is it not too early to celebrate? I mean, the king is dead, but nothing else has been settled or decided yet. Sure, this isn't premature. Radovid's dead, but it's a long way from that to a free Tamaria. War's not over, not even close. You're mistaken. Tomorrow at noon, the commander of Army Group Center will sign a truce in Amir's name. A truce whose wording we agreed with Dijkstra. So back there in Velen, when the trolls nabbed you? Yes, I was returning from the last round of talks. Amir will keep Edion and Lyria, but in exchange for Radovid's head and a <laughs> stop to guerrilla activities, he will withdraw from Tamaria. Which will become the Empire's vassal state. Self-ruled internally, with its own really? courts, administrative structures and army. The silver lilies will bloom neath the rays of the great sun. <laughs> so I say were I a poet, but I'm not. So all I'll say is there was no other fucking way. Um, okay. Wow. Congratulations. This is a profoundly stupid plan, if ever I heard one. I mean, come on. Aren't you, like, supposed to be good at strategies and stuff? Um, because this right here is textbook divide and conquer strategy. Right? I mean... I'm sure it will work out for you for a while because um, Nilfgaard obviously will be happy to have a bit less resistance and I don't know guerrilla tactics on, on that front 
so they can focus um, their full attention on conquering the rest of the north. And once they have done that, and uh, you now have consolidated their power, which I presume may take several years, or maybe even a decade or two, but once they have done this, poor little Tamaria will be surrounded by Nilfgaard. And you know what that means? It means that <laughs> nobody's going to hear you scream once they come for you. And I'm pretty sure they will come for you eventually because, um, you know, whenever in this game I uh, spoke to any Nilfgaardians who are in charge of something like the ambassadors or um, some military commanders, um, I I always got the distinct impression that Nilfgaard uh, isn't just conquering because they want the territory or the resources or even the power, but they do this because um, they believe it's some kind of holy mission to spread their enlightened Nilfgaardian civilization to the barbarians of the north. So, yeah guys, I don't know, do you really believe that Nilfgaard will, um, in the long run anyway, tolerate your chaotic little barbarian kingdom next to their perfect enlightened empire? I don't know, I don't think so. I mean, maybe you will be independent on paper, you know? Um, but uh, you're still uh, their vessel and I, I'm sure they keep their vessels um, <laughs> on a short leash so I, I don't know about I don't know about your plan <laughs> and I mean in the end nothing and no one can prevent them from invading later in case the Tamarians uh, become unruly or whatever so yeah I know the Northern Kingdoms kind of make it a point to always fight each other and screw each other over for their own benefit and whatnot. But in this situation, um, I think you either throw in your lot with them or you can start to learn Elf Guardian, to be honest. And yeah, you, you just don't use this kind of appeasement politics against an empire that believes um, that you know by virtue of its superior culture it's en it's entitled to rule the entire world you don't do that it's not working they will want to control you as well I'm pretty sure of that however all of that aside um, it would have been nice if you told me about this before we did this I mean it, it wouldn't have changed my decision because, um, as I said earlier, Geralt is not doing this for the politics, but because Radovid had to die. <laughs> and I think anything would be better than his continued rule. And I would say that even this arrangement is better than Radovid's continued rule. But, um, you know, if you want someone to risk their neck for you, I think it's a courteous thing to tell them the whole plan. Um, <laughs> or, you know, it may look like you were, you know, trying to use them as a tool for your own political agenda. So, yeah, kind of shitty move right here. Kind of shitty move. But then again, like I said, <laughs> I think it will backfire on you anyway at some point. So, uh. You don't know Amir. He'll outwit you. Take your toys as if you were children. Oh, don't you fret. We've edge on our shoulders, eyes all around. Hm. Take Dijkstra, for instance. I don't know. If it were done when tis done, then twere well it were done quickly. Hm. That but this blow might be the be-all and end-all here. What's that? Vakmeth, Act <laughs> 1, Vakmeth. Scene 7. Always wanted to play that. Never cast as anything but a halberdier. Geralt, what Tala told you, put it out of your mind. 
There will be no truce with Nilfgaard. Redania, under my enlightened rule, will fight on until it wins. And when it does, it will unite all the North, including Temeria. What? Huh. Ow! This is not what we plow and agreed. True. Instead, we insisted on one realm's questionable sovereignty. And to recover it, we gave Amir virtually all the North's other kingdoms. It was not a wise arrangement. So, no deal. You two-faced horse. I will not allow this. Actually, you, Roach, should be the first to understand I've What's no choice. On? Why the hell would I understand? Because you too are a patriot. Geralt, this doesn't concern you. You um, may go. Fare thee well on your path, or what not. What? What the fuck is going on here? Why? What? It's I don't... It's not my concern, I don't, what? so no. I should let you do what you <laughs> what will. What the hell? But you're a real <gasps> son of a bitch, I... you know that? <laughs> I did not get anything. It's why I'll make an excellent chancellor. Farewell, oh my god. Oh my god. Um I didn't actually click anything. Holy fuck. Um are they actually like dead now? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. So, yeah, um, this just happened, and yes, um, I, I didn't actually click anything. Honestly, I was just completely stumped by all the shit suddenly hitting the fan around me, and um, I didn't choose fast enough, so the game did it for me. Um, actually, I think... Uh, I think the reason why it picked the option that it did was because my mouse was hovering over it uh, when the time ran out. Um, I think someone mentioned that in the comments a while ago uh, that this is how it works and how the game makes a decision if the player doesn't. Um, I, I would have to check my, re my, my recording uh, for that. Um, but I, th I think it actually makes kind of sense that uh, it shows this option because in this situation uh, I think if you don't you know decide fast enough um, it makes sense that the game proceeds with the I don't know the more passive option which in this case is probably to ignore the problem and just walk away <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure it just picked this option because that's where my mouse was, but it makes kind of sense that it turned out this way. But yeah, bloody hell. <laughs> I did not really want this to happen. Um, I mean, I gotta be honest, I never really felt that attached to Roach. Um, maybe because I didn't play his part in the last game. And as a matter of fact, my prime memory of Roach from the last game is that at one point I beat him up because, I don't know, he was throwing a tantrum about something. I don't uh, remember all the details anymore. But, <laughs> I mean, he did help me at Kermor and so that's good enough for me. And I always really liked Tala uh, for some reason and I didn't want them to die. I <laughs> definitely didn't want them to die. Of course, I also kind of like Dijkstra, uh, despite him being a giant ass, so I wouldn't want him to die either. So, yeah. Actually, I think um, the main reason why I hesitated for a moment, a, m a moment too long apparently, was um, because I was basically like, you know, why? Why do I have to do this? Why are you guys making idiotic plans with the Nilfgaardians? <laughs> um, and apparently pretty half-assed too. Uh, I mean, you even told Dijkstra about it. At, at the same time, not telling Geralt about it, who is doing most of the dirty work. And <laughs> then when, you know, uh, this whole plan just 
falls apart and backfires on you, I'm the one who has to save your asses and <laughs> help you out of it. When I, I actually mentioned it before uh, starting this quest, that I don't want to get involved in any more of the political bullshit. So that is what stopped me cold for a minute. Uh, well, not even a minute, it was like 20 seconds. And um, that's why I didn't make a decision fast enough. But to be honest, um, if this had been a non-time decision, I'm pretty sure I would have made a different choice. <laughs> I would probably have been like, yeah, I don't really like your stupid scheming here, but I mean, you helped me before and you don't deserve to die for this, so I'm going to help you with this. But uh, it, it's, uh, it's just all happening so fast and it was all so sudden. Yeah, man, those time decisions, they, they are not at all um, complementary to my playstyle because I like to take my time and I like to think about things and the consequences and so on. But um, it doesn't matter because um, the type decisions, they are part of the game and I respect that. And um, I always stand by my decisions or, well, non-decisions in this case. So I will not like, you know, roll it back to a previous save because I think that's cheating. And I think it's part of um, the excitement of the game to allow for, you know, mistakes and for screw-ups. And yeah, <laughs> what can I say? I screwed it up here, guys. I'm sorry. I screwed it up. But yeah. Um, and before I move on, there is one thing that I have to say about this quest, though, uh, or in particular, the way how it ended. Um, I mean, it was a really intense and unexpected scene. I'll give them that. But it does kind of leave a bit of a bad taste in my mouth because, um, I don't know, is it just me or did this whole situation and you know the way how it suddenly escalated around Garrett in like two minutes does it feel a little bit I don't know forced <laughs> I mean yes it was like a surprising twist and I think one of the reasons um, why it was so unexpected is because uh, I felt that the characters behaved kinda out of character to be honest. So I mean you have Roach and Tala suddenly sucking it up sucking it up to the Nilf Guardians. Um I mean if you remember not too long ago Vest basically wanted to kamikaze herself killing a few Nilf Guardians. And now they're just okay with being in Nilf Guardian vessel state, give up the fight and I don't know, accept whatever bones the Nilf Guardians will throw at them. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I guess we can say that they were like really desperate and I must uh, assume that the Emperor made them a really, really great offer. But um, I don't know. I, I just find it hard to believe that they would be so gullible to believe that uh, this is actually a long-term solution for uh, Free Temeria. Um, but <laughs> even more to the point, what the fuck was Dijkstra thinking here? I mean, um, in the end he actually succeeded because uh, <laughs> I was so steamrolled by the development that I didn't react fast enough. But I mean, he couldn't really count on that, right? <laughs> uh, come on, this is a smart guy, right? And he has resources. And there would have been a lot of other ways how to uh, get rid of his pesky, unruly co-conspirators, right? And I would say all of them would have been better than to just barge in with like, what, <laughs> three or four or five soldiers while Geralt was still there. I mean, why? <laughs> um, Geralt, who just, you know, a few minutes earlier 
cut his way through like a dozen of witch hunters and soldiers uh, to reach the king. And then this guy shows up with like four henchmen and generously asks him to leave. I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, Geralt would have left in a few minutes anyway. Why risk antagonizing him? So, yeah, I mean, yes, it was an intense and unexpected scene, but it does feel a little bit shoehorned. Um, you know, like they ignored established characterization just for the sake of the drama. And um, yeah, I think I think they made Roach and Tala overly naive, and Deeks were just plain stupid. But anyway, I'm not I'm not trying to blame my um, indecisiveness on the quest here, because in the end, uh, that's on me. <laughs> I'm afraid. Um, I I think it's still a good quest with a bit of an salty aftertaste because um, I feel they used good established and otherwise well-written characters and then just ignored their characterization and you know just threw them away for some dramatic effect. Um, speaking of which by the way I think Roach, Tala and Vess uh, would have deserved to go out in like a cutscene or something you know this was a bit anticlimactic. Um, then again, it probably just would have made me feel even more bad about this, so maybe it's a good thing um, that there was no cutscene about this. Whew, but yeah, um, what's done is done. What's done is done. Anyway, um, I am talking way too much again. Um, I have been talking a lot in this episode, for that matter. So I think I'm going to end the episode now and I will recover from all this drama. And I guess in the next episode we will head back to Skellige, um and get back to the real business, right? And uh, deal with the wild hunt. So <laughs> again, uh, as usual, thank you for watching and see you again next time.